Hello everyone. So today I will uh, tell you how to use LinkedIn Premium basically. So this is like LinkedIn page and how it looks like basically. So uh, let me start when you log in LinkedIn. So you have to click the like recruiter option right side in the corner the recruiter option. So uh, this is like LinkedIn premium page how it looks like. So this is job uh, which I have used LinkedIn in the past and now you can put any skills here like hit the box you can uh, any skills like Java, .NET, QA, register nurse like suppose I can put here Java. So now you can see the uh, is a pop up like some uh, resume, some uh, candidate profile. So this is like a page open. It's like career builder, dice, monster. It is some kind of the like page gonna pop up with us, right? And if you go to the left side, left side you can see like job title, location, skill assessment, company, school years. All is like uh, you have seen like you have a you have like job board like dice monster carry builder same is open here same is also here but there is like two type search one is a normal search and second is advanced search in normal search you can use like a job title here location you can use you can mention some skills Either you can put like years of graduation also this one it's depend on the like client or requirement even even any specific requirement on the base of you can update this thing but I will not suggest to use this because you will not get much proper candidate so what you have to do you have to scroll up down and click like advanced search here is the like advanced search so uh guys this is like uh this training like is specifically healthcare role and uh i will let you know about like how to find healthcare candidate on linkedin so here's like a job title basically in job title you can update what is your required like what you are looking suppose i am looking the registered nurse i can update here and even you can update a more job title also suppose i can put a certified registered nurse is like crn also crn either i can update pi picu is like pediatric intensive care nurse so you can use this type title also if you are looking this type the title for the resume but i need only one register nurse i can use only register nurse that's enough for me because there is like less title crn predatory instance you like this less and a part of that you can see the below linkedin showing some alternative option you also you can use that next we can go here so here I will suggest to use uh, because there means the current and past, current, past and current, past means like the portal is asking the what type the con candidate you're looking. You're looking the candidate. You have this title and skills in the current role, either current and past. So on the base you can search. So I will suggest to use current or past project. Right. Even for the IT also, if you need any skills, so you need the skills in current project and past project the both. So that's why you have to give the priority current and past. But if you hiring any senior level candidate, like in any architect candidate, then you can use current. So you're gonna find like current job title candidate, right? If I use the current, so I've just mentioned job title, in the register nurse so i'll file the mostly register nurse in the current project so next we can go the like uh, location here 
so location in suppose if you are searching any california based candidate right and location and you choose current or open to relocate okay so candidate mostly like you find a candidate on the skill based candidate like suppose you're looking the candidate any specific skills and there is a and client is open to accept the candidate who is ready to open to relocate in that location so you can choose this option the current and open to re relocate so here you will find the candidate they are ready for the open to relocate even the mostly nurses also like to travel all over us any zone like one zone to other zone one city to other city right and third option if you go only for like open to relocate so this features is used for like basically healthcare that is for the client who is looking for like travel nurses so this criteria is for the client like who is looking basically like travel nurses and uh, who can uh, move means like one state to another state one city to another state so you can use the open to relocate next a skill and assessment this is like a skills if you want a specific skills candidate you can put here any specific skills suppose my client is there and they are looking basically the one candidate who has experience register who is a registered nurse and have experience l and d experience like labor and delivery experience so i can put here the labor and delivery even if you're working any id requirement and java is a dot net and they need some specific skills you can mention here the specific skills also you can find the candidate accordingly so my personal suggestion is go for the like keyword or boolean string right if i'm talking about the keyword and keyword is here which i earlier the put the like java you can use here the keyword and the boolean string suppose i have the I, i'm looking the candidate like registered nurse so the keyword so we're looking like a uh, lnd and uh labor and delivery so i can put here the string like lnd and labor and delivery or labor and delivery so you can update their string here when you put that boolean st uh, string here so uh, on the base of the skills and keyword the resume gonna fetch up the resume gonna pop up means like whatever uh, keyword you can mention in the string like here okay if you want any candidate like particular schools year of graduation or particular industry in industry so you can choose here also you can put here in the industry also like what industry you're looking either you can looking any years of graduation candidate experience you can mention here also and if you are looking like particular school candidate you can mention here so these filter also you can use it right and regarding the industry you can here you can use the particular industry like pharma healthcare finance and it it's depend on the client requirement right next we can go for the employment type if you are looking any candidate full time part time contract that is your wish but for it functional role i will suggest contract type there is a many candidate are open in the market for the contract role even the healthcare also mostly the like nurses they have the project like 13 week contract so they mostly come on the contract also so you have to choose mostly contract role right but it also depend on your search criteria if your client like in the full time either like part time in the internship on the basis you can use any right next if i am go to go for zip code now here if you have like remember the zip code you can put the zip code here suppose i am looking for the candidate san diego california location okay so i can put here san diego california location like san diego california zip code we have 920 so that is like san diego california location and 
you can put here like yeah like you're looking the kind of like is a 25 miles area so you can update like 25 miles right but i'm going to search the candidate on the base of the location right i can put here the location right i can put here location san diego san diego california i can update here right in location like putting the like city and state so it will gonna search whole the county and if you're gonna remove this and i can put the zip code and i can choose miles to search some local candidate right but here i'm not giving the priority for the zip code i'm going to looking for the whole state for california state like uh, san diego state so i'm looking for there so now coming back up this option if client ask if client ask any bilingual person so put those language over here but hardly gonna you use this like if they are spanish french so you can update here right but yeah yeah as i told it's hardly gonna find that so that's why it's depend on the like client demand and client base of the requirement next we can go for education and experience so you can choose years of experience here it's matter for few clients who has like IT and non IT have functional role and client says that they need five year candidates experience and those clients really very strict regarding for experience. They need like at least five year experience work experience. Okay. So what you need to do, you can put here the experience, right? There's a zero to 30. So you can update here. You need five year candidate. If you will update here, so all candidate will come around like five year plus experience right so all result gonna pop up who has five year or more experience and you will not see any resume less than five years but now here five years means not re all relevant candidate you will find five years irrelevant candidate also I'm gonna fetch up why the base of the like string your, your job title and keyword right it means like in five years maybe they have the current title maybe the past title the past experience that will not ever count right so that's resume also come out next we can go years in current company right we can clear here years in the current company if I can find the years in the current company because few of the client need tenure in the current project. So here you can put some years in the particular project or particular organization, right? So you can put the particular education here, a particular a current a company experience, right? If the client is looking the base of the current company project. And even the one thing, the last in the military veteran in the left column, you can see here is that if because some most of the client is few of the federal client they need military background candidate then you can use this option military background and if you if you have some preferred company need like they need the like preferred company okay in the past company so uh so you can put there those company name here or like Beckton Dickinson DuPont Mar Sanofi these are like the past company you can choose here and the current company also if they are looking the candidate who is a current company the pharma background and the current company name you have remember either they ask so you can update here there right current company okay next we can go for the company type because most of the company they are looking the candidate suppose if they are a telecom client the client is Verizon okay so they are looking the basically uh, ca candidate who is like a background would be is like telecom side non-profit private health educational public company partnership self-employed self -employed. so is the base of the requirement you can choose the company type 
like what type the company the public private and non-profit you can use that like here you can mention like in the eight years it's like so it's also linked with like eight years like a uh, job diva so it can be routed over there also through the eight years also if i click here i can see there's like 21 candidate is there in our in my job diva which is is which is comes in search right so these features you can use on your recruitment next we can go spotlight what is the spotlights here now there is a catch in this between in this option if you are not using this option so we will find all candidate who has title registered nurse or nurses and keyword have like LND and labor and delivery option right particular like state and city and irrespective they are open on job or not so what I can do I can search here because first I'll check the my job title view registered nurse location San Diego California we have used that and even we can put the keyword like LND right LND and uh, our labor delivery or that that is like substitute we have updated now I can go I can search so we got like total 445 candidate but we do not know this can these are candidate are available or not let let we can check that these candidate are workable or also not why we these candidate fetch up because all candidate have either title registered nurse or have in resume lnd or labor and delivery that's why these resume gonna fetch up i'll i'll check the i'll check this resume Aaron. see like registered nurse emission also and we can check labor and delivery nurse nurse is there we can try this candidate and see work is like r and scientist clinical nurse here research assistant and uh, we can see the license see here the license also and some candidate gonna update the license on the linkedin the resume some not but the quiet is option all can nurses have license right we can see some more let's we can see some more profile we can see like kathleen we can see like samantha registered nurse this is also like good profile samantha we can try with this candidate and see have like some lnd in like uh in his skills either like in job descriptions that's why this is going to patch up and uh see uh see also means like bls license like and cpr also see mention so this candidate also can work but yes again we don't know the is samantha is available or not so then how to find out the these 445 candidates are available in the market or not so for this we're gonna click here open to work option once you're gonna choose this option all these 112 candidate available in the market and they are looking for change like we have on linkedin where we can choose open to work option or not while we are looking or for job or not so they have used it like open to work so that's why they're going to pop up here for in open to work option and even the guys linkedin have a great features once you're gonna turn on open to work option and someone from premium account sending message to particular candidate and if he or she not responded three times in a row then open to work option can lost and linkedin feel this person not looking for job so whether it his decline or accept they need to respond so all these candidates in the market are available so response ratio out of 10 
according to LinkedIn survey, 65% candidates reply if you drop the message or email. So this is a whole about the like San Diego, California location candidate. And you can see there is 25 candidate in one page and uh, we can see we have total five pages which are is which are is coming our search like 112 candidate in our five pages so i will i'll let know one more thing suppose you find the like Brittany Brittany is working with united states hospital health and care right and uh, if these candidates are working with the same client which you are looking for so do not send message or email beside it can be causes big escalation and you can lose your job and company can lose the client right because you are yeah, you're sending email the same candidate who is working in the same organization which you want to hire so these are candidates are available in the market so you can drop him message or her message or in email so that you can get response so there is a one more thing there is two options where we can select or click each profile individually one by one either one page to second page then email right so uh either like uh Suppose I choose this candidate, I feel the good and I can check resume first and I see the resume is really good, it can work out and I can drop message. How to drop the message? We can click here, send message, we, I can choose or either I can select like all 25 candidate and send the message so there's a two option but I will suggest go one by one not send the blindly select all and message blindly can send it all candidate email that is kind is a mass mail and if you're doing this then it can be block your account because on this way email can be goes irrelevant candidate and they report on that so humble and polite request do not just select and do email merge so please open profile one by one and looks for the candidate whether these are candidate are relevant or not then you can choose and send the message on the basis right okay so uh, if suppose and I'll let you know the one more option how you can send the email merge not email merge you if you want to find the out of 25 candidate and you see there's like 10 candidate are relevant okay suppose if you find this candidate labor and delivery even you can check through here also through the here the history if I have seen that this candidate also available and uh, this not look like the current project current project also mentioned i can try this one also either uh this not if i see that that's also can it's good that's project like 2016 to 2022 work so i selected four candidate i want to send the email like the word of message from here i can click here message and i can compose email and send to them all right to whom you selected like for you're going to send email for these candidate add subject line compose email and you can send email right and these compose message i will share you in below you guys you can check from there right so this way you can use that so thank you everyone to watching this video and please like and subscribe of the next for the next video thank you very much